I used to think that long cycling pants were kind of dorky, but one of the things that I really like about these is that if I have to stop for a pee break, well, I don't have to take off all of my top layer. So I don't have to take off a jersey and take off a base layer and stuff to get to the bibs to take them down. With these pants, you can just keep all of your top layers on and keep all of the warmth in while you're doing a nature break. And then you keep riding and you're not freezing cold. And that's important at this time of year. Another one of my cold weather cycling tricks is to wear the right kind of footwear. So I really like wool socks. These are my defeat woolly bullies. Like they even have like a little sheep on them. Anyways, they're a little bit thicker than my regular socks. So, and this is like where the real trick comes in because I mean, wool socks aren't that big of a secret. Um, I have winter cycling shoes. So these are exactly the same model as my summer cycling shoes, but they're one half size bigger. So that leaves extra space for my bigger socks. And it also leaves a little bit of extra space for some um, airflow because it's actually important to have some air to kind of um, keep the heat in amongst your body parts because otherwise the heat just transfers directly from your body to the cold material and gets like sucked out of you. So it's nice to have a little bit of extra wiggle room, a little bit of space for the air and some space for bigger socks like your favorite wool socks. It's gonna be a good ride. Another one of my best cold weather cycling tips is to protect your face. I put on this um, thick balm and it kind of creates like a barrier between my skin and the cold wind. And it's good because it keeps me a little bit warmer, but it mostly prevents like my skin from chapping. And this is what it, I use. It's the Premax stuff. It's the same guys that make shaming cream and sunscreen. These guys know what they're doing. I also use Vaseline on my legs and on my arms. When it's raining and cold, I won't do it right now because like I have enough cold clothes on. But for racing, oftentimes that's what I'll do. I'll just put like a really thick layer of Vaseline on my legs and I call it pants in a jar because essentially that's what it is. It's like a layer that protects your body from the wind and the water and stuff that makes the heat evaporate from your skin. I'm going to share with you guys one of my trusty cold weather riding tricks. And this is using these hot pads. So it typically, if you're not familiar with these, we use these for like skiing and stuff and we put them in our gloves so that our hands don't freeze. But I like to use them when I ride and what I do is I put them either down in like a jersey pocket but another good spot like right here. So I'm putting that in my sports bra strap right close to my shoulders and trust me this makes a huge difference. You just gotta make sure that they don't get too damp because then they stop heating. But if you keep these in here, it will keep you so warm during a really cold ride. It's one of my favorite tricks. This is a delicious snack.